Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel. My name is Trish and today I will be sharing with you my first resin pour using mermaid and seahorse silicone molds. This is something that I have really been wanting to try for a long time, but the thought of working with resin was so intimidating to me, so I really wanted to do a lot of research first before I jumped in. That being said, there are a lot of firsts in this video. This is my first video tutorial, my first time editing, and also my first time working with resin, so there will be mistakes. But you know that's okay, that's human nature, and that's how you learn. I do have several projects I'm working on right now, and hopefully the more videos I make, the more I'll improve. Thank you again for watching, and if you like this video and its content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification button so you will know when I've posted a new video. All right, enjoy the video.
Hey everyone, I'm back, and so this is the reveal of the resin molds. Um, it was very easy to remove them. I took them out after about 16 hours of curing, and they came out very easily. They just popped right out. Um, so the seahorse, you can see that I placed seashells in the tail and I was hoping that they would be translucent. You'd be able to see them through the front, which you cannot. And I realized my mistake in this was that um, I shouldn't have uh, dry painted the tail part of the mold. So if I do this again, I'll be sure to uh, not put mica color or mica powder in the tail part of the mold so that you can see the, sh the shells through. And I can also see that I didn't put enough resin in that, which is an easy fix. I just put it back in the mold and I can put more resin and uh, make it more level. Now the mermaid was also easy to get out of the mold. Um, I do see here that I had um, that spillage that went over the mold, which at the time I didn't think about I didn't think I could clean it up because it was so over the top, but it wasn't too bad. And um, I was actually able to cut away a lot of it, which in the, the last picture I'll show you that I did cut away some of that excess resin. And uh, I think they turned out pretty good for my first time. Um, Definitely still have a lot to learn, but uh, you know, that's how it goes. And I, I'm happy with how they came out and I can't wait to make more of them. And I definitely know what I do differently next time. So I'm really excited to work with resin again and see what I can come up with. If you enjoyed this video today, please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you and I hope you all have a beautiful day.